one of the managers of the Athletic Center of Atlanta Incorporated, where I weigh in, where I work out. Have you done anything <laughs> extraordinary to lose this, lose this weight? Register the vote. We want you to carry that theme. I put myself under a, <clears throat> a time target, um, publicly exposed, so I just cannot back down. I cannot eat ice cream on the sly, right? Even though in the quiet of my own apartment, I might be able to sneak in and eat something I shouldn't. I know I've got to be able to fess up on time. And I've used these kinds of time targets to assist me in losing the weight. I've fasted. I've not eaten a single thing since uh, Sunday night, except a half of a grapefruit and one pint of uh, yogurt. Not a thing. Not a single thing. Water, diet soda pop, plenty of coffee with artificial sweetener, but nothing else with calories at all. Something like that is a city that I was involved in government investigations. Uh, if you come on survey stands, we're talking about eight or ten days. See in Atlanta and urge our citizens to participate in this decision making process, which is available to us through voting. Vivian Malone Jones. Our theme is give yourself some power. Register to vote. CETA is, is a problem for Atlanta now because it's getting a bad name, which is totally undeserved. The U.S. Department of Labor will say on record anytime I think they're asked that we have an outstanding CETA program. They've told me this. A regional administrator has told me this. But at the same time, we've got some people in outstation, in other words, under contract with CETA, who are likely involved in some shenanigans. We want to find out what they are, crack down on them, and solve those problems. This is not peculiar to Atlanta. It is a nationwide problem. But if you ask how big it is here, my prediction is it's less than one half of one half of one percent of the total amount of that program, that's a $20 million program.